In June of this year, I was invited by two places in New England to launch my children's picture book, Henry's Big Kaboom. The Henry Knox Museum in Thomaston, Maine invited me because the book is about Henry Knox. Fort Ticonderoga in Ticonderoga, New York invited me because the story is about Henry Knox leading an expedition to transport 40 tons of heavy artillery from Fort Ticonderoga to the outskirts of Boston at the beginning of the Revolutionary War. It's an amazing story. Children like singing the chorus about Henry's noisy cannon, so I would take along my ukulele. I had a week in between the two book signings, so I decided that in my rented car, I would use that week and follow the Henry Knox Trail. Back in 1926, when our nation was celebrating the 150th anniversary of the Revolutionary War, the states of New York and Massachusetts set up 56 monuments along the route that Henry took from Fort Ticonderoga to Cambridge. The markers are still there except for two that have gone missing and some have been moved because the route is different than they originally thought. This is one of the New York markers. Running down the left side is the map of the route. Along the top is an image of the oxen being pulled through the deep dark forests and the muddy swamps. The Massachusetts monuments have a different design and the stone at the border between the states has the New York design on one side and the Massachusetts design on the other. Ticonderoga is the Mohawk word for between two bodies of water. In 1755, the French built the fort there because it was the link between Lake Champlain and Lake George. And if you follow Lake George south, you eventually get to the Hudson and eventually get to New York. They named it Fort Carrion. A carrion is an instrument with a bunch of bells. The English changed the name to Fort Ticonderoga when they captured it in 1759. I reached Ticonderoga traveling west across Vermont through the Green Mountain National Forest. You've probably heard of the Green Mountain Boys. They helped Ethan Allen and Benedict Arnold capture the fort from the British for the Americans and they also helped Henry Knox with his expedition. To cross from the Vermont side to the New York side of Lake Champlain, you take a ferry. A plaque on the side of the ferry says it is one of the oldest ferry crossings in North America. It was established in 1759 by Lord Geoffrey Amherst to connect the ports on Lake Champlain with those on the Connecticut River. You enter the park shortly after you exit the ferry. You follow the tree-lined drive to the visitor center. Then from there, you enter the fort, and there are all sorts of fun things to do and see. The collection of cannon and other large guns is the largest in North America. A smartphone app describes each gun. There are beautiful views of Lake Champlain, especially from the cafe. New York marker number one for the Henry Knox Trail is right in the middle of the parade ground. You can watch tailors and cobblers in action. And of course, they have a gun display. And yet, most of them... You can take a boat ride around the lake, stroll through the gardens, course, attend my book reading at 1 o'clock. Believe it or not, I've brightened up this video as much as possible. Henry found the guns in disarray. He counted 59. He looked them over carefully and said, these will do fine. Some were cannon in their wooden stock and mortars fat and squat. There were coverts and small howitzers and mounts and mounts of shot. But the biggest cannon was Old Sow. She weighed 5,000 pounds. When she fired, she made such a noise, was heard from miles around. So they placed her in the largest barge to sail across the lake. 
if she fell into the water, it was a big mistake. Hmm. George Washington and his soldiers went and ready to chase the British away. Because what did Henry plan to do? Blast his mighty cannon with the big I signed lots of books that Chelsea Martin, the museum guest service manager, sold in the gift shop. In part two of this series, I'll take you on my three-day road trip to hunt down 37 of the 56 markers along the Henry Knox Trail. I hope you'll join me.